Hello everyone! My name is Vivian Jade, the trained unprofessional, and welcome back to Burros! It is time for the short story revolving around Mark. And... Ah, oh, man, it, it's, it's interesting to me that this game where it's... The base game is so... It's, it's not like... We don't even have all the routes having been started yet, and yet we've already gotten multiple short stories and all this other stuff. This game, is this the standard to be expected now? Is is this, is this so exceptional above the standard or is this the new standard that we should expect? Because this is incredible. The amount of extra content and extra stuff that they have put forth, the, 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 the extras menu that we have, the, the finite detail that they've put in, it's just, it's in, it's immense. Immense what they have done. All right, the open door. Let us do this. As I said in the uh, Gabriel update video, I don't know how much we're going to be doing of this because the uh, the the teaser image for the short story was a sex scene. Uh, but I I don't know. This certainly doesn't appeal to my sexual. Uh, senses. This makes me think I'm about to die, so... There might be more to this than let's on. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, here's Mark. Uh, what's going on out there? Cheryl? <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing at that. What's... Funny is that's what me and Bree have been referring to Chernobyl. The we've been watching the HBO miniseries on Chernobyl. We accidentally called it. We autofill on our phone called it Cheryl once, and so now we're like, "Oh, you want to finish Cheryl?" Because we only got a couple episodes left. What are you looking at? Oh, am I that bad at this? Uh huh. Soft. It slides out from between her lips. She gives it a final wiggle before sitting up with a sigh. The drool over my crotch has grown cold, and I grab the bed sheets to start wiping her off. I try not to look into what any of these are before going into it, so all I've been able to gather is this is Mark Circa College ish. She brushes some messy hairs off her face, avoiding my line of sight. Oh! Oh, hey! Yeah, that's younger-looking Mark. Sorry. It's not you, I promise. Hmm. Without another word, she gets up and collects her things from the floor, picking up scattered papers one by one. Usually, I stay quiet. She groans and taps her feet impatiently. Usually, when guys offer to help me with homework, they're just trying to fool around. But you're much better at being a tutor than a lover, Lazarus. It's okay. Well, fucking A, man. Fucking a man. Fucking A, man. Jesus. I already apologized. I hope you pass that final, Cher. She turns her nose up and heads for the door, leaving it open a crack so I can f hear her final insult. Freaking boys club. Oof. I like the unique presentation, the sprite being in this little frame here. And there's the slam. I sigh and pull my pants back up. I notice the smear of red on my sheets and panic starts to set in. Ah, right. Girls wear lipstick. Girls. They're always so delicate and lovely. 
They float through life like these perfect little things that everyone adores. Too perfect to possibly be real. And all that makeup feels disgusting, pressed against my fur, that perfume overwhelming to the senses. Their lips feel alien to me, licking me down there, and the memory of that recent encounter sends a shudder throughout my body. Why do I keep fooling myself? I collect myself and walk into the bathroom to wash my face. They stare at my sorry reflection, hoping to see whatever it is these floozies are attracted to. I still look like him, huh? I bet he isn't having these thoughts. I bet he's got tons of girls in Albany screaming his name. What the hell? Oh god. You're in a static. If I had even an ounce of his charisma. Oh Jesus. A knock stirs me back into the present. Richard's laugh. Are my eyes playing tricks on me or did Cheryl from St. Mary's just storm out of here? Uh. Hawk, my man! That's the third time this month I've caught your pants down! You're not a very sly dog, Lazarus. I really don't need my sexual prowess ranked by him, of all people. But we both know Princeton ain't a co ed school, Mark. One of these days, a dean will take a chunk out of your hide. What do you want this time, Rich? What? I can't spend quality time with my favorite upperclassman? No, you can't. The freshman dorms are back that way. He rolls his eyes and sits on the bed. His hand rolls over a wet spot and he retracts it before pausing to sniff it cautiously. Either she had a good time, or you drip like a fountain. That's a hell of a thing to say! I don't know what you think happened, but I'm not interested in her like that. He lays down on my bed, with his arms behind his head. This guy... Right, right. You're busy with your studies. I get you. It's more than that. Oh? No, I know better than to tell you anything. What? <laughs> I straightened my tie, still trying to feign professionalism. You can't keep your damn mouth shut, cat. Maybe. I don't kiss and tell. But we haven't kissed yet, so who knows? <sighs> Why must he tease me like this? You know, if you keep making jokes about being a pansy, everyone will start thinking they ain't just jokes. Maybe they're right. Uh oh, <laughs> even the frame took a step back. What the hell? <sighs> Oh, jeez. And the, the friend took a step forward. Um... Yeah. I mean, eventually we're gonna get to that fucking scene that's on the fucking teaser image. He chuckles and crawls across the bed toward me, dipping his shoulders in a seductively feline manner. Even though his body language is exaggerated for comic comedic effect, he still does it well. Too well. Lazarus. Don't you find the women around here boring? I uh, suppose so. Let me let you in on a little secret, hound dog. He reaches me, his head at crotch level. 
His fingers dance up my leg with each word. They're boring everywhere. Oh, Jesus. I grab his hand before he can reach his target. I don't like where this conversation is going. You don't like anything. He sighs and steps around me, heading into the bathroom. Maybe the idea is more fun for you than the real thing? Get out of my bathroom. The click of the lock. He's pissing. Good lord. Richard! He's giggling. What a pinhead. What, I need permission to believe myself? At least that's all he's doing. <sighs> you have permission. Just finish up so I can get some sleep. A flush. Finally. Hmm. What? I just got a little excited, that's all. Thinking about you and Cher. What? I think I will leave myself in another way so I can think m with a clearer head. I'll do it in here. For modesty. Are, are, are you seriously going, going to... Masturbate in my goddamn bathroom? Well, I was considering it. But I suppose me and my hard-on could head over to the RA's office and report your little rendezvous with Cher instead. This is exactly why I don't engage with him if I can help it. He's fluent in extortion. Do whatever you want, creep. Gladly. You hear his belt hit the floor as his pants drop. I was half hoping he was bluffing. Hmm. Man, I got really worked up. Must be the pheromones. <laughs> you dogs ain't kidding about that stuff. <laughs> it's quiet enough that I can hear him rubbing something covered in fabric. Okay, joke's over. You can get out now. He softly sits on the toilet seat, his loafers squeaking against the tile as his legs spread. I wasn't joking. <laughs> God damn it. Well, we're 14 minutes into this. The the scene but at the beginning of this was just vague enough to be insinuated, but this is pretty fucking blatant. I don't know how much of this is, short story is going to be able to be actually included. I might I don't even know if <laughs> how much, if it was worth it to even play this on YouTube. But I'll try. I wasn't joking, puppy. This quack needs to be attended to. Is he actually... If you don't stop, I'll... You what? I crawled to the door. Crawl? You got down and then crawled? You were standing, you fucking... And press an ear against it. He inhaled sharply and... I can hear him doing it. Actually doing it. Shouldn't take long. You gave me plenty of material. We're in separate rooms, shit. His voice sounds like he's right next to me. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> I mean, it's censored. But, I mean, you can hear it! <laughs> I start to isolate his scent. His breathing. Every other sense is dulled, and I can imagine the silhouette sitting there. S doing that! <laughs> Rich. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to synopsize this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have done it a bit ago, but, uh, sorry. I'll see you at the other end of this.
Son of a bitch. This, that is, that was a, this guy, this son of a bitch. All right, he talked him up. He was talking him up real big. And he talked him real, he talked, oh. I still can't include it because Mark was actually doing all of the stuff. But some bitch, man. He he talked him through a whole bunch of shit. Got him, got Mark to the point where he stripped down, was doing all the stuff, said, you want to do it? And, and then he opened the door and there he is with a fucking camera. He sits triumphantly on the toilet, fully dressed. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. You better not, man. Because... I mean, this is, uh, we met Mark in the 60s, right? It was the 60s or the 70s. I always get this fucked up. I think it was the 60s. And so if when he was in college, it would be the 40s, I believe. Either way, revenge porn is only starting to get fucking taken seriously. So back then, definitely would not be, no. Uh, this would definitely be used as a witch hunt, but hopefully, no, uh, this, this could go, uh, go any which way. We'll see. Uh, I, oh, fucking smile. A flash. He's holding a camera. Oh boy, Richard, you might be fucking murdered. Are we about to see Mark's first victim? Quote unquote. Can't let go of my car fast enough. All I can do is grab a towel with my other hand. Hmm. Exactly what I expected. Not a bad sight at all. But if you really want to do what we just talked about. He saunters past me, whistling as if the last five minutes didn't happen. You'll have to beg for it. I grab his pant leg, my head spinning. Wait. He purrs. You can't develop that photo. Oh, it would be for my eyes only. Unless you wanted a copy to send around the ho- for the <laughs> send around the fuck it. Send around the holidays. Send around the holidays. Send around for the holidays? I don't know. Please. No. No more games. Looks at me the way a Roman emperor watches over his gladiators. If you're like me and you're not pulling my leg, what are you? And you're not just taking pity on me. I want to try it with you. Rich, please put all of the flirting and machismo aside for a minute and talk to me about this. It's getting late. He pulls his leg away but doesn't leave. His tail flits back and forth as he thinks. There are others here at school. Exclamation points. Never learned what that's supposed to sound like. <clears throat> you know, when one of those anime, <clears throat> you know, noises. <clears throat> he sighs and crouches down, still not quite at eye level with me. We have a week off starting tomorrow. Most everyone is heading back home, but you can't, can you? It's not that I can't so much as I don't want to. He probably couldn't stand the sight of me. I nod anyway. I'll arrange something. Meet me at the smoking parlor in Firestone tomorrow at noon. I'll bring thee up too. You're sure we'll be safe? Oh yeah, you're gonna just trust him? After that? The other two? I mean, this is the fucking 40s. Depending on where you live, there's still sodomy laws, and if not, there's still places where you're just gonna be fucking 
probably murdered for this shit by corrupt fucking cops that are just going to say that you did something else. Or even if it's not the cops, just anyone, you know, you're just, you're fucked, basically. If this guy is any less than reputable and he has already proven to be not trustworthy. So why the fuck would you trust this? Well, because it was your only choice. It's not like there was fucking Tinder back in the fucking 40s. Nothing has ever really safe for folks like us. You'll learn that pretty quick. And you made a real good impression about that. He holds the camera up, gesturing at it with a sick smile. That's why I always need leverage. Bastard. He's about to turn the knob before his eyes widen, recalling something unpleasant. Oh, right. Make sure you grab an enema from the nurse's office and actually use it. Some of these chaps don't get the memo. What do you have planned that I'd need to... Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> okay. We're not doing anything until I have a thorough talk with everyone, though. Good lad. I'll see you around. Not a word to anyone, capiche? A nod, and he finally stands up to leave. He pauses for a moment before sighing and walking down the hall. I wait until I hear the stairway doors close at the end of the corridor. Damn it! I punch the wall, dust falling from the wooden, old wooden foundations above me. Wow, well, okay. Uh, not saying that. He really got me. He really got me this time. The... T <laughs> Forgot you were standing there with that. The towel falls off my cock. Still hard and throbbing. How can I possibly enjoy myself when my nerves are on high alert? Must must be a separate entity from logic. That's it. This isn't my fault. Fucking prick went out of his way to get me riled up. Oh, uh, dissociation. That's a good way to to fucking develop a personality pro a disorder. This needs to be taken care of. I, I need a clear head. God, I sound just like Richard now. I throw off the rest of my clothes and lean against the wall, feeling myself up. All right, he's gonna do this, so I'll I'll skim it and get back to you. I oh, left his underwear. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, God. See, this is what I like about the short stories in Burroughs. They establish themes that resonate into the main game. Oh! Oh! Jesus! Okay. Um, that was a lot. I don't even know if it's over, because the sound effects are still going, but I, I want to catch up with you real quick. In summary, he, uh, he went into the bathroom, and, uh, he, he's pleasuring himself. He found a pair of Richard's underwear, and he, he really got into it, and there was stuff about how he was really feeling it, and he was doing the, I, I showed you, I, I reacted to, like, how like he walked into my den and and there was stuff in there about how he was going to be very dominant about over him and just just like way more than like not like a healthy bdsm but like ownership basically um and like this is how it's supposed to feel this is what it's supposed to feel like and now he's looking at the mirror i still look like him 
Is the him, his brother, his dad, a separate personality? What is the him? I, I look in the mirror, I still look like him. This is fine, he tells me. He's watching like he usually does when I get worked up like this. Um, I really hope it's not a family thing then. Okay, he's... Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Okay, you know, no. Th what? This is some foul shit. Even the music is being like, this is weird. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm thinking that word too. But I don't want you to do worse. I don't want you to go further. I want you to stop. He. He. He did some bad shit to the un. He, he's. He's. He's, he did a lot more stuff with the underwear. I'm gonna leave it at that, cause it's it's getting bad. I wanna be very clear again. What two consenting people do? This is not a matter of talking about kinks. This is someone who is being described with a severe mental problem going over the edge. This is- this is not being depicted as a sexual awakening. You've got the spooky music going in the background. He's having a mental unraveling. Accompanying with... A near... Uh, like, sexual abuse... Of a piece of cloth. Where he's having delusions of sexually abusing... A person. While being overviewed by this, what, split personality of someone that looks like him in a mirror, like... This... I don't... I should... I, I'm, I'm giving disclaimers about what people do with kinks, that's okay, even if it's not what I'm into, you do you. This is not that. This is something else. This is very something else, alright? Should regret this, I could have just said no. Uh-huh. Well... I don't know. You got involved. Don't give me a picture of this. Oh! Okay, this is the next day. We're on to the next day now. Oh boy. 